Hello family, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another vlog. We are going to be doing kitchen deep clean, plus, we are going to be making some dinner for the night. If you're new here, I'm Andy Sharon. I love to do DIY hairstyles, DIY beauty recipes. I do a little bit of cleaning here and there, vlogs, a little bit of cooking, yeah. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new here. <coughs> Have you subscribed to my channel though? If you haven't, I'll give you a few seconds to do so. So you can support me to create more videos. Did you subscribe? Thank you and let's get straight to today's video. It's the end of another year again. I actually can't believe that 2022 is already over. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my kitchen. Actually, the truth is, it's been a while since I did a kitchen deep clean. A few months, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, the truth is, for the kitchen, there are things that you just can't clean every day. Yeah. Yes, I clean my kitchen, I clean stuff in my kitchen every now and then, but then there are things that I really need to clean before the beginning of the year. So as usual, I'm going to start by clearing my dishes, and the first thing that I always love to do is to clean my organizer. Actually today, I'm not going to disassemble my organizer, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my sponge and some soap, and then I'll give it a scrub, the corners especially, the little dirty today, rinse it off with the water from my jug. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down just to remove the water that I might have collected in the tiny little pipes. And then I'll just go in with my towel over there and wipe it up nice and clean as shown in the video. Not forgetting the corners, the tiny little pipes again that put together the organizer itself. And once again, I'm not going to forget the foot. Or should I say the stand? <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and set my organizer aside. Now moving on right over here, I'm going to go ahead and clean this silver part of the sink. I'll go in with my scoring powder and my brush. I'll give it a little scrub over there as shown in the video. And then I'll go ahead and use my towel again just to wipe it up nice and clean at least three or four times will be okay and then again today i'm not going to forget the tile area behind where i put my organizer as usual yeah and then now after that i'm going to go ahead and just start clearing my dishes as usual i'm going to be cleaning my cups first just like you do at home you guys and then i'll give them a good good rain session in the video as i set them aside on my organizer over there and then for my dishes as usual i always use regular soap regular bar soap and my trusty sponge over there and then i'll just give them a scrub good scrub and then i'll just rinse them off as usual so you guys the other time that I did the other vlog, I introduced you guys to my food channel. Yeah, I got a few subscribers and I'm really thankful if you supported me on this channel and the other channel. The food channel is called Beyond Aroma of Kenya. I featured it right there on my main channel. Yeah, check it out. So if you missed on the other video, check it out too. It's a very awesome video to keep you relaxing and to motivate you to clean your space. So I started Beyond Aroma of Kenya a few months after I started my main channel. 
I have just started exploring recipes and then I started cooking. I was not good at cooking really. I was terrible. But then again with time you learn a few things and when you do one thing now and then and then you get better at it every single day and that is how better I got better and better. So if you want to join me in that journey, check out my food channel Beyond the Realm of Kenya. I know you're going to love a bunch of my videos in there. I have lots and lots of recipes. My first videos were not real good, but then again, they are very good too on my side for a beginner. <laughs> yeah, I can't say they were so bad or they were terrible, but I try, I try for a beginner. So check that channel out, check the playlist that I created on my channel. I know you're going to love my videos in there. Explore my channel. It's so free. You don't have to pay anything to explore that channel. <laughs> Just go ahead and explore that channel. Check out the recipes. Browse, browse, browse your way through the channel. And while you're there browsing, make sure you subscribe to my channel to support me so I can create a little more videos and so you can also motivate me. <laughs> yeah, so I don't give up, you know. And then again, I see you guys watching a lot. You explore my videos and when I check my analytics, most of you guys are not subscribed. You watch me and you just hop on to the next video without subscribing. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel so you can support me. Give me hope. Motivate me too, you know. <laughs> so I don't give up on this YouTube thing. Getting back to the video, I already cleared my dishes over there as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and clean my red organizer that you've seen right there. And then I'm going to go in with my towel and then I'll wipe that part of the sink up. Just a quick wipe and then I'll set my organizer there. That organizer, I use it for my pots. As you can see right now, I already started cleaning my pots over there. So for my pots, I always use whitewash or sunlight bar soap. Uh, actually, I love sunlight more than whitewash. And then I use my stilo to just scrub my pots I shown in the video. If you've been watching me, you all know I love my pots. So they're super shiny, just like you see in that one over there. So I always take my time to clean my pots. I can't say that I clean my pots like that regularly. At times, I just get off the track just a little for a few days maybe when i don't have sunlight soap or maybe when i run out of steel you all know at times you just get off the track but then again i love my thoughts when they're super clean and shiny and looking good look at that <laughs> Who oh, doesn't love clean pots especially the silver shiny pots who Huh? So right here, I rinse them and give them a good, good rinse. Mm. I'm going to take this opportunity, you guys, to thank you for this year and the other year and the other year. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for two years, if I'm not wrong. But then again, there are a few people who started this journey with me. I used to get subscriber today. I have one subscriber, it gives me hope, and then again, the next day, that person is not there, you know, <laughs> he unsubscribes. When I started this YouTube journey, that's the truth, today you have five subscribers, and then tomorrow you wake up, and then you are like three subscribers, and then you are like, what's going on? <laughs> All of these bots. Yeah, this YouTube journey is not has not really been easy that's the truth it's been very very hard but then there were a few people who trusted me and then believed in me and they started this journey with me and they've been there since the beginning and 
Yeah, we are doing great. We are really doing great. I can say so to myself. And I'm very proud of myself for this uh, I've, be, I've gotten. Or, yeah. <laughs> I'm really really proud of myself I never knew I could get like maybe 300 subscribers after I started this journey and then it was terrible at some months over there I even thought of giving up there were a few times when I just felt like no I'm not going to post any more videos anymore, you know. At times you just want to give up. You're like, eh, oh God. You see somebody just started his channel or a channel a few months ago and then he has so many subscribers more than you and you're like, what is she doing that I can't do? <laughs> or what is he doing that I'm not doing? What am I not getting right here, you guys? But then the truth is, this YouTube journey, it has it's up and down and the truth is i learned not to compare myself with the others you never know you never you just never know we are all on different journeys and yeah everyone has in us is her her own time you know yeah something like that so if you started your channel maybe a year or two years and then the journey has been rough don't give up maybe that video that you're thinking about right now is what will push you up it's it's what will just go viral or give you so many views and then that's what will give you subscribers if you're a small youtuber just upload your videos keep uploading yeah that's what i can tell you and then again just don't compare yourself with the others like i said before we are all on a different journey yeah and thank you guys for those who started with me the new subscribers and those who have been there yeah thank you that's all i can say so after i'm done here as you've seen, I plunged my sink after I cleared my pots over there. And as usual, I'm going to clean my plunger over there, set it aside, clean my brush, set it aside. And then now I'm going to go ahead and block my sink over there with that tiny bottle top that I'm holding on my hand. So... Mm, I actually don't you want to use a basin. Today I feel like I should just block the sink and then I'm going to be using that water to clean everything over there. I'm going to start with the window. I'll go ahead and clean my deco over there on the window and then again I'm going to clean the tile area as usual. And since today we are going to be doing a kitchen deep clean, I'm not going to forget my window. It's been a while. That window is a little dusty today. Let me say really, really dusty. And then I'm not going to forget the whole area. We are going to be cleaning, doing a thorough cleaning on this kitchen. Look at that tile. It's really filthy. And then I'm now going to go outside and then I'll give that window a good good wipe. And yes, I'm not going to forget the other side of the window again. If you decide to clean, just clean everything. Set a day and just clean. If you want to clean the bedroom today, clean the bedroom. If you want to clean the kitchen, clean the kitchen. For the kitchen, it's obvious that the window will be dusty and smoky, especially smoky, yellowish, yeah. After I'm done with the window, I'm going to go ahead and clean that tile area close to my sink as usual. I'm going to go ahead and use my towel over there to do it a good way. So, as usual, before I move on to the next part, I always love to rinse my towel over there as you've seen i'm now working on the lower cabinets i'm just not using any product over here i'm just using a wet towel that you've seen me squeezing over there on my sink and then i'll give that a good good wipe as shown in the video and now i'm going to go ahead and just give a quick wipe on my counter over there 
just using my towel so actually the counter is not really really that dirty today because for the counter i can access it every single day yeah except for the things that i cannot move around in every single day and then today since you are doing a kitchen deep clean again we are not going to forget the lower cabinets i'm going to go ahead and clear out the lower cabinet i'm going to remove every single thing on the lower cabinets so the truth is for my cabinets i'm not really really good at keeping a track of my time to clean the lower cabinets yeah i don't want to lie to you so for this i'm going to go ahead and just use one of my old kitchen towels over here again i'm just going to make it wet that's all and then i'll give that a good good wipe i'll show you the video so as usual i'm going to go in in two rounds and yes you don't want to forget the tiny doors of the doors of the cabinet if you're cleaning inside the cabinet then you have to clean the outside of the cabinet too you know the doors and then i'm going to go ahead and move to the further stand and yes then again i'm not going to forget the walls the walls are obviously going to be dusty and messy and smoky especially for the corners the whole part of your cabinet is also part of your cabinet so make sure you don't forget the part of the wall if you are cleaning your cabinets and look at my towel it's very very messy and yes i'm going to be rinsing my towel every now and then as i clean the cabinets the wood part and the edge of the tile you don't want to forget that and one more thing make sure you control the cockroaches yeah that's really really important and then i'm going to go ahead and just rearrange everything well and nice the things that are inside the lower cabinets i show you the video the tins and the lids are really really messy yeah and then i'll set them aside actually today i'm going to set them inside the bedroom so i can have a little bit more space on the counter so i can work with the upper cabinets and for the upper cabinets i'm first going to use today a tissue paper and then i have that disposable container over there so what i'm going to do first is to remove everything from the upper cabinets as i did with the lower cabinets and then i'll set them aside on the counter over there and then i'm going to start working with the counter right now and just make sure if you are cleaning the cabinets just clean everything to the furthest end over there i'll remove every single thing on the cabinets yeah except for the upper part of the cabinet that i have my boxes on <laughs> i'm not going to touch that today let me say so uh so i'm going to roll out a little bit many tissue papers here because the truth is the upper cabinets are really really messy and very very smoky today so i'm going to go in with the first tissue paper and then i'll give it a, a quick wipe for the first time and then i'll go in with the second tissue paper as i move around and around until the furthest end of the cabinets yeah and then the reason why i have that container is to hold everything from the cabinet so that they don't fall on the counter and then i have to redo that again and then again my plates over there are already clean and i don't want anything falling on them plus everything on the counter you don't want that you know so make sure you have something to hold everything from the cabinets if you are working with the upper cabinet and yes you don't want to forget the further stands of your cabinet if you leave them they become real real messy and then when you decide to clean them then you'll get tired before you even think about it you know <laughs> and then i'm going to go ahead and rinse my towel nice and well on my sink 
and then for the sink i'm going to be removing the water i'll drain it a few times when it gets dirty and then i'll rehard a fresh batch of water again you know just like that and that until i finish my cleaning you don't want to use the same water on the lower cabinets on the countertop and everything else you know you have to be a little clean <laughs> okay and then i'll just go in with my wet kitchen towel over there and then i'll give the cabinets a good good wipe the upper top of the cabinet the lower the lower part of the cabinet i'm sorry the part of the wall and the further stand the edges of the cabinet you don't want to forget that the walls are going to be real real smoky and dusty yeah and now we are done with the cabinets so moving on now let's go ahead and just wipe up everything over there your organizers over there i have a little bit organizers close to my stove the things that i want to access every single now and then like the salt the tea and all that yeah and then i'm going to go ahead after i wrap them up with a dry kitchen towel i'm going to go ahead and now just work on my stove and look at that this table is really really messy and i have my trusty disposable tin over here to hold everything so that i don't make a very big mess on the floor i'm going to go in with my spray bottle over here and then i'll give this a good good wipe as shown in the video so for the kitchen i'm actually going to need more than a towel i'm going to need maybe three or two or four towels around so that i can access this place and that place and over there and there and there <laughs> and then again i'm going to go ahead and not forget the whole area the tile area over there close to where i cook when i decide to deep clean the kitchen i love to clean that too and then i'm going to go ahead and just clean the gas stove over there nice and clean and yes i'm cleaning even below if i'm cleaning the upper part then why leave the lower part and then i'm going to go ahead and reorganize the area around my stove and then moving on i'm now going to be cleaning the dispenser and look at that this is really really dirty and messy i'll set it aside inside the sink i'll work on it later i'm going to go in with my spray bottle here since there is no water inside this dispenser today or inside the dispenser bottle i'm going to be moving this dispenser around and i'll clean each and every inch of it yeah and then i'm going to move on and use my spray bottle again on my fridge over there i'm going to go in with the first kitchen towel and use my spray bottle to clean it up and then i'm going to go ahead and use a dry kitchen towel to give both the fridge and the dispenser a good good little shine and since i'm cleaning the front part of the fridge i'm not going to forget the sides the upper top of the fridge and then i have these tiny little decos that i have on top of the microwave over there i'm going to go ahead and clean them nice and clean to make sure everything over there is super clean and then today since you're going to be doing a deep clean i'm not going to forget the microwave the back side of this microwave is really 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 smoky and messy and dusty so right over here i'm going to need two towels again a wet kitchen towel and a dry kitchen towel and yes i'm going to make sure that i first disconnect everything over here i don't want a shock i'm not going to forget inside the microwave i'm going to give it a wipe as well or a clean <laughs> and then i'm going to go ahead and return the deco to the upper part of the microwave now that i'm done with the dispenser the microwave and the fridge now let's move on to the counter now over here i'm going to wipe everything from the upper cabinet as shown in the video before i return them back 
my spice bottle is over here just every single thing that i removed from the upper cabinet they are a little dusty over here it's been a while i'm not going to lie to you yeah and yes if you decide to clean over here just make sure you wipe those little cups that you keep over there and your little glasses over there make them clean and then i'm going to go ahead and return every single thing from the upper cabinet now they're nice and clean not dusty at all yeah so i'm super happy i decided to clean my kitchen today i hope this motivates you to clean every single inch of your kitchen you need that you really need it before it gets real 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 messy and now that i'm done with the upper cabinet i'm going to move on to the lower cabinets and then i'll return everything from the lower cabinets to rearrange them nice and new as shown in the video and then moving on now that the window is dry over here i'm going to go ahead and just rearrange my deck over here and now i'm going to move on to the sink i'm going to start cleaning that white thingy that i removed from the dispenser it was really dusty and messy yeah and then moving on i'm now going to go ahead and just clean my rugs they are really really messy right now i'm going to need to soak them with some jink and i forgot to clean my tap yeah my tap is a little moldy or should i say i don't know how to say it i'm going to go in with my brush over there give it a little scrub and then i'll rinse it off and then right over here since i disconnected the extension over there it was a little dusty and messy i needed to wipe it up before i connected it back i forgot to capture that make sure you check on your extensions i'm going to be singing about that again and now that i'm done with all that i'm going to go ahead and move on to the floor so for the floor i'm going to go in with my powder soap over there and my bucket of water and my mop and then i'm going to go in in two or three rounds and today i feel like three rounds will be okay because this floor is really really messy and then again i'm sorry if the angles are not that right my kitchen is a little tiny and it's very very hard to film here especially the floor cleaning the floor and filming it is always a little hard but i tried my best you know and after that one more thing that you don't want to forget is to remove your trash now that the whole kitchen is clean the trash has to go and then now i'm going to go ahead and prepare some vegetables that i bought yesterday i bought some tomatoes over here and a ginger i'm going to give them a good good wash and then i'll set them aside over there they're looking nice right <laughs> i'll set them aside so they can drain the water and now moving on i'm going to go ahead and finish up on the counter so actually for the counter i'm just going to give it a shine who doesn't love a shiny counter i love love my counter when it's super shiny so i'll go in with my dry kitchen towel over there and give it a wipe nice and clean every inch of it just to make sure it's shiny yeah i can reflect my nose on it now that's one clean shiny countertop and then moving on i'm going to go ahead and clean my water bottle over here inside my sink and then i'm going to go ahead and transfer my water over here my clean drinking water you know so i cleaned the water bottle first and now i'm going to cover it up nice and clean and then i'll transfer it to the dispenser now that we are done over here let's go ahead and prepare our dinner for today i have my bowl here first i'm going to go ahead and wash my hands so actually it seems the electricity is really weak the lighting is not going to be perfect you guys 
but I'm going to try my best. Right here, I need some water. It's pretty hot, really. I'm ready to make it look warm. Let me do that real quick. Okay, here we go. I have my flour here. I'm going to go ahead and add some in. So for the flour, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to add salt to taste. I'll quickly give it a mix. So right here, I have a wooden spoon. I don't want to touch this dough so much. So I'll go in with my water bit by bit. I feel like that is just enough for the first batch. And then I'm going to mix this up. So since I'm using a wooden spoon and I can't feel the dough, it's very hard to know how the dough is, if it needs more flour or it needs more water. So here, I have to shoot this today and the electricity is very weak. Yeah, I can't postpone this really. The lighting in my kitchen doesn't work. I don't know why it's been like this for days and it's getting annoying or something like that. I don't know what's wrong, but for sure I know there's some houses up here that don't have electricity at all. I'll inquire tomorrow what's going on, but Today we have to shoot this. Like you've seen, I used warm water. I'm going to go ahead and just knead this up. Yeah, the dough is very soft. So that means I added a little excess water. I'm going to have to adjust my flour. Just a little bit in. Okay. And then... Now it's just all about kneading. I actually tried the wooden spoon recently and I feel like it's very helpful in the beginning when you're making a dough, when you don't want to touch that messy part of it. Uh, now this dough is just okay. I'm now going to go ahead and add some oil in and then I'll knead the oil into my dough. This is just for today. This is going to be at least five or six chapatis. It's already late in the evening, so I'm not going to rest this dough. Although for me, I always love to rest my dough. I'm just going to make sure that I prepare this dough first and well. My dough is just ready. I'm now going to make round else. I'm going to pinch balls out of it. And since I'm not going to be resting this dough, I'm not going to pinch very, very tiny balls because if I do that, the chapatis will be very thin and that will be bad. Yeah. And there we go, that is just right there. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to dust one of my roundels. Dust my board. And then I have this cute, cut tiny little rolling pin. I'm going to use it to just roll out this door. I'm going to roll the dough out and then I'll add it to a plate. One thing that I need to do is to dust it just like that and then I'll add it in. And then what I'm going to do is to roll another one out and then I'll add it on top of it just like that. Actually, Baba Milan bragged to me that he can make a perfect circle. 
<laughs> I'm wishing you here then he'd try that, you know. <laughs> and to see him try. But here I go, and that is done. I'll set it aside on top of this. So let me quickly work on the rest. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so moving on right here. I have a tomato and then I have my green onion. Let me first start by chopping my green onions. So I already washed my onions and tomato. Yeah, I forgot to say that. I just add my hummus to a bowl. I'm going to chop my tomato the African way. Yeah. You so bored to be careful of your knife. Yeah. Okay, so right here I have some preserved coriander in oil and then frozen. Keeps it fresh as you can see. Okay, so right here I have my heavy pan. Just wipe it up. I already fired up my stove and then I'm going to preheat it until it's medium hot. And then I'm going to add my chapati dough. My mom always insisted that you don't touch there. I'm in the middle of your chapati. She said that it will make that part dry up. <laughs> I don't know if that is true, but yeah, I once touched there and it came out dry. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's always right. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> And then I'm going to spread my oil. For my chapatis, I use half of this spoon. You like that is just enough. Don't want to make your chapatis so holy. Okay, I need to flip this. Right here in my pot I have some green grams that I already cooked. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to another pot first. Right here I have two tins. I'm going to cover them and then I'll freeze them for another day. As usual, I'm going to be working with the same pot. I'm going to go in with my oil. And then I'm going to go in with my onion. And then I'm going to go in with some ginger and garlic paste. And then I'm just going to fry my onions to get them done. My onions are just ready. I'm going to go in with my tomato. Some salt to taste and to make the tomato soft. Or to make the tomato soft. Cover it up so the tomatoes can soften. Yes, I'm cover my tomatoes next year and then I'm going to give it a good mix. Okay, so right here I tried my best 
to separate the excess soup from the green rice itself it gives it a little taste so if you watched my other video i have to go in with this mix it up i'm going to let it cook for some seconds so the green grams can absorb the seasoning and all that i just want it to get a little heat yeah I'm now going to go in with this and then I'm going to go in with my coriander if you want to preserve your coriander in oil like me and then fill it um, just make sure if you are using it to cook you watch your oil yeah because the coriander is already oily After this is to just bring this to a boil. Okay, so let me just go ahead and serve this. Ah, uh, dinner is just ready, you guys. Can you come sit here baby so you can eat? You want some cookies? Sit closer to your mouth. <coughs> Sorry. If you're new here, I'm Angubo Sharon and I'm going to take this opportunity to wish you happy holidays, happy new year and I hope next year brings you everything that you wish for. Thanks for watching and kindly subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.